it's of course understandable that all you have seen of the Olympic Games is the sports competition. But at any given Olympic Games, there's also a huge amount of culture and education that takes place alongside those sports. In fact, many of those programs are informed by a whole range of cultural pursuits, whether it's the creation of artistic exhibitions or compositions for the Olympic Games. You saw in the opening ceremony that video game soundtracks have been reimagined through classical compositions for the opening ceremony. And there's often an Olympic song that's created. So creativity is at the heart of the Olympic Games production. And it's also at the heart of the Olympic vision. The movement is underpinned by this belief that Olympians and the Olympic spirit is best cultivated through a range of practices, including physical activity. Now, whilst we look at sports and think that's what it's all about, there's so much more. So at the Olympic Games, every two years, there will be a cultural program that sits alongside those sports in various ways. It might be festivals that happen in advance of the games, or it might be exhibitions that take place during the games. This year in Tokyo, they have something called the Olympic Agora, which is both a physical space, but also an online platform that you can go to and discover a whole range of artistic competitions, pursuits and exhibitions that tell the story of that Olympic culture and heritage in the art sector. It's really fascinating. Take a look at the website.